Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bernardo from the BJ Tech News. And yes, Apple has released another beautiful update to us developers. And it's uh, version 3, update 3 for Yosemite. Uh, I've heard so much stuff that Apple has pushed out to this update. I believe they pushed out um, dark mode. Uh, they changed a bunch of icons. Uh, but I'm, I'm pretty excited. So let's, uh, let's click on update all because I believe Pro Apps Codex 1.0.5 is also part of the updates that they push out uh, and let's check out or let's check and see how big is it so let's download and restart oh my god so that's pretty big uh, the combination of Yosemite preview 3 and Pro Apps Codex uh, it's about uh, 1.12 gig so that's a pretty big update uh, and Pro Apps Codex is for Final Cut and Motion 5, so it's not really part of the developer's uh, preview. But uh, I'm going to let this update, and i catch you guys when it's finished. And we're back, guys. So finally, uh, Preview 3 for Yosemite OS X has finally installed on the machine. So let's check out what's new. Uh, the first thing that I noticed with the new OS is that uh, it looks like QuickTime has been remodeled a lot. Uh, what I mean in QuickTime is when I go to applications, these are one of these little detail design minor fixes that Apple has done so far. And it looks like they kind of modified the way the icon looks. I also noticed that when we start, when I actually started Quick Player, they actually rearranged the design. Uh, this didn't, wasn't really here, so they kind of rearranged everything, which is pretty cool. And the most anticipated feature that everybody's been looking for and it's dark mode believe it or not it looks like apple has placed dark mode with the new preview i'm pretty excited about this as you can see uh, i did two videos for you guys showing you guys how to enable it a lot of people are always complaining because it wasn't the right way but it gave you the dark mode uh, this feature is real simple no terminal no hacking uh, you basically go into your system preferences your general and it looks like apple has given us the option to switch to light and dark if you click on dark automatically it takes you there it looks it, I don't think it's really finished as of yet but it looks official I really like it a lot uh, but that's one of the new things that they pushed out for preview 3 another feature that I noticed a lot with preview 3 it looks like within mail they kind of rearranged the icons it looks like the icons are a little bigger uh, than the preview 1 and preview 2 I know icons were a little small the fonts have been changed a lot within mail so I'm pretty excited about that but another thing that they added with preview 3 it looks like they added two features within FaceTime a video portion and an audio portion the only thing that I don't like about the app is that when you click one of the options it kind of blends it with the white uh, so again it's one of those things that Apple has to like change but it looks like those two options is added within uh, the face FaceTime app and last but not least, for those people that use Time Machine, it looks like Time Machine, the, they kind of design and redesign Time Machine a little bit. It's pretty excited. I use Time Machine a lot because it always saves your butt when you delete a file and you need to get it right away. But it looks like they redesigned it a lot. And that's it, guys. That's the only things that I've noticed with Yosemite Preview 3. If you guys find anything exciting, leave your comments below and i catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.